that you guys would like to know that my first time filming this video I accidentally deleted it so um this is my second time filming this one so we're gonna be talking about pop-up parade figures compared to the prize figures I recently unboxed in is the card up here I think the cards up here in this video right there so I saw this conversation on TikTok that was talking about pop-up parade figures just being glorified prize figures and after unboxing the figures that I mentioned in this video right here, I I don't want to say I agree because, well, first I want to talk about the unboxing experiences between the two. Unboxing the two prize figures went a little like this. It was, again, all of this box, it was underwhelming. this tiny thing right here. However, when I was unboxing the Roy and Reza pop-up parade figures that I got earlier, the end of last month, the unboxing experience was a little bit more like this. Now, after reading the listings, they were both new. I am the fir first person to have unboxed either one of those. They were both new in their boxes. Uh, the Roy and Reza that are actually right here on display now, they were pre-orders that arrived. Meanwhile, these two were actually bought secondhand. You can't even see the one I'm pointing to here. They were bought secondhand, but they were from somebody who hadn't opened them. So I was the first person to get into those boxes, and the unboxing experience between the two was the big was the big thing that set them apart. Also, just how they were packaged. The pop-up parades definitely were packaged a lot better. And I'm not talking about like packaged from the center to me. Now I'm talking about like in their boxes. The pop-up parades were just packaged so much better. Um, I don't have the boxes anymore. I don't keep my figure boxes. I have no intention of reselling them. And if I were to move, I will just be sure to pack them very carefully and move them myself. I didn't think ahead to moving, but the boxes were taking up too much damn space. So aside from the unboxing experience, I felt that the Papa Parade figures definitely had a one-up over the Furio prize figures. Now, there are other companies that make prize figures, so I'm just comparing them to these. This is what I'm comparing them to because they are what I have on hand. And I won't talk about something that I have not messed with myself and I have not used myself. If I have no experience with it, then I have no opinion on it. Oh my god, my nose is itching. Uh, my room is fucking freezing. Freaking freezing. It's cold. I'm cold. Everything's cold. Anyways, so as aside from the unboxing experience, I want to talk about like the quality of the figures themselves. Now, the thing about the prize figures and the pop-up parade figures is that they're both cheaper and they're both mass-produced. There is a lot of them to go around. And when I say cheaper, I mean the price figures. Actually, for retail prices, they both would have been $35. They were about the same amount. Pop-up parade figures, however, I was looking at getting the Spike Spiegel, the Cowboy Bebop ones, and they're up to like $43 now. How I feel about that, I am not entirely sure. But the two I have right here. Actually, Ray was $39, and this was $35. This was $39, this was $35. And I'm going to switch the hands so the sides correlate to the sides I've been gesturing to. Mm, I think my ring light is a little bright. Give me a minute. That looks better. So here would be a close-up of them. Now, my sister thinks the Papa Parade Roy's face looks a little funny, and I didn't think so at first, but the more I look at it, the more I think about it. Focus on him, not me. The more I look at it, the more I think about it. Is this helping you focus on him? I can't tell. I really can't. The more I look at it, the more I think about it. Uh, I kind of agree. The face just look, does look a little weird. But, uh, to each their own, I think it's fine. However, I definitely think this one looks better. Although that little scarring wound right there does look a little weird. 
that is a strange color. And this one is actually a little bit heavier. And honestly, this is a smaller detail, but if you look at the coats, right, this one actually has more like paint marks and more fine details. And it's a little bit more than just the solid color. Meanwhile, this one's just, it has the shadows and stuff, but aside from that, it's just like solid color. Meanwhile, this has a bit of texture to it. And I definitely like the detail of the texture. Also, the shirt is like visibly dirty. Like, like, it looks dirty, but it's not dirty. Does that make sense? It's painted to look dirty. And that is a detail about this one that I actually like more than this one. I think that is a really nice detail, and it looks really cool. And I genuinely think this is a pretty figure. Also, the base is decorated. And yeah, I feel confident holding this one upside down because he's on his base pretty good. He's on his base pretty good. One of the prize fig, actually, I think one of the Papa Parade figures as well. I had a difficult time getting them on their base. A uh, little footage of that will be included right here. I think it was the Ed Prize figure that I had a hard time getting on his base. I don't remember. The footage will be right here. But yeah, for the um, Papa Parade figure, also the base is blank. There's nothing on it, no detail. And it's very, it's painted to look clean. It's painted to look, it, it's painted very well. It looks very nice. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, even the smaller details on the pop-up parade, I'm, I'm down here looking at it like this. The smaller details on the pop-up parade still look very nice. I'm trying to get it to focus on him and not me. Like, the smaller details look very nice. But also the details on this looks very, on the prize figure, also looks very nice. And I do like that it's a bit more textured and that it's painted to look dirty. I think that is a nice detail. Although, I was going to say the paint job's a little weird in places, but no, it's not. It's fine. It looks fine. Between the two, do I have a preference? Uh, that is a loaded question. I don't have an exact answer. I do definitely prefer like the unboxing and presentation of the pop-up parade figures better. But since they're going up in price, it's actually like $40 now. Meanwhile, you can get a decent price figure for like $30. Whatever is in your budget, because you know, who am I to tell somebody what their collection needs to look like? I just like Roy Mustang. So if I can get Roy Mustang figures, I'm going to get them. Because I have two others. Two others. This one right here cost me $150. That one's not in this conversation. Because this one is a totally different price range. For a totally different type of collector. But who am I to tell somebody else? what they should and shouldn't have in their collection. I think he looks lovely. I think he looks great. You can't see this little shelf up here, but I actually have the Pop Funkos as well. But oddly enough, I do not have the Roy Funko. I should change that. Uh, is that weird paint job? Yeah, right here. Can you see that? Around the trim of his coat, the paint job looks a little weird, now that I look at it. But, you know, I still like it. I think it's cool. And for like, what, 35 bucks? That's not bad at all. Now, 35 bucks is a little steep for... Yeah, let me grab a ruler real quick. That's the wrong side of the ruler. That's the wrong side of the ruler. Hi, guys, I don't know how to use a ruler. like what seven and a half inches of plastic some might say $35 it's a little expensive for that and um honestly this including the Funkos that you can't see because they're out of sight was expensive but that's just the nature of being a collector and 
collecting things, especially when it's just... There's other series that I would love to have a little collection like this for, but, um... <laughs> you see, that, that that's expensive! But the longer you wait, the more expensive it gets, because the secondhand market can be brutal! But anyways, I'm just gonna compare the... Ed Price figure to the Ed Papa Parade figure, just for that point of comparison, so you have, like, another character to look at. This one is a little buried, so let me just... Isn't he so cute? I love this. It's adorable. I unboxed it on my TikTok. This was a second-hand product, had no original packaging. It actually doesn't even have its stand. But it's so cute. I also have the Roy one right there. He's adorable. Anyways, oh, no, no. He's not staying put. The Ed one, in my opinion, is where the differences really stand out. So we're going to get a little closer on them both. Papa Parade, prize figure. I want to talk about the Automail. Because the detail on the Automail and the Papa Parade version is incredible. Like, that detail looks phenomenal. And, you know, some people aren't a fan of, like, how the face looks and how he looks. I think it looks fine. I actually think it's kind of adorable and endearing. However, that said, let's show the Automail for the price figure. Right. In my opinion, it's just not as pretty, not as, um, honestly, not as, not as detailed, but I still think it looks really nice, and much like the Roy one, it's painted, his jacket is painted to look dirty, and I like that detail. I think it is very, I like, I enjoy that the prize figures are painted to look dirty, and much like Roy. Oh, wait. I think it was Ed that I had a hard time getting on his base. I'm not going to take him off his base. Much like Roy, Ed also has a decorative base. And the Papa Parade does not. Now, you may notice that I, I'm holding him by the figure, not the base. Because, um, I fling this wrong, the base is going to pop off. When I unbox this, I do not have a video of that. I've had him for a while. When I unbox this, his, his base just... His base kind of just falls off sometimes. So I feel more comfortable holding the figure rather than the base. The base, him falling off the base is exactly why the top of the sword dagger thing is broken. Um, I don't mind that it's broken. No, I'm not going to get a second Ed Papa Parade because a minor defect. I think it's fine. I think it adds character and it makes my Ed a little bit different from everybody else's. I don't care that mine has a minor defect. My biggest gripe with this is I don't like the face. I think the automail looks a little wonky, and the, the face. The face looks a little wonky. I absolutely adore how the pop-up parade looks. Although I kind of wish that, like, I don't know, we could have gotten him in his, like, standard classic outfit, like his Nendoroid. But, whatever. I mean, I guess this is cool, too. I definitely would have preferred a standard outfit, you know, with the red coat and everything. But, uh, whatever. At the time I got him, Papa Parades were like $35. So I got him for $35. Roy I got for like $40. And now they're going for like $43. So the price of Papa Parade figures are going up. Meanwhile, with prize figures, you actually have a better variety of, like, pricing you can pick from. And, I mean... It's a case of you definitely get what you pay for. And that's making people a little angry with the pop-up parades going up in price, but not so much in quality. The Roy and Riza that I have are newer pop-up parades. Meanwhile, the Ed and Al that I have are the older ones. And when I say older, they're not like that old, but... 
they're older. And I would argue that they're still the same quality despite the price difference. And that is something some people do not like. Um, I do not mind. He's baby. And I will happily take it, this to add to my collection. Now, oddly enough, I don't actually have an expensive Ed figure. Like, you think I would, but I don't. I have to get on that someday. But that day is not today, because I, I have other priorities right now. So, all in all, I generally prefer the pop-up parade figures over the two prize figures that I have. Now, this isn't me saying that, like, don't get prize figures, they're cheap and blah blah blah. It's not up to me to determine what your collection looks like. You are a collector who collects your own things. If you like it, get it. If it's what you can afford, get it. I don't really care. Who am I to tell you what you can and can't have? I, I'm not an authority. I just like, mm, yeah, I have this. I like it. You might like it too. And actually, I think Ed's still available, but I know in Good Smell Company, Al sold out. The Ed, the Al Papa Parade looks so cool. He's my favorite. But that, that's not here nor there. I'll talk about that in like my collection tour video. But yeah. I lost my train of thought. See ya. Right there would be the Pop Funko's I was talking about. I have most of the Fullmetal Alchemist ones, but not all of them.